Hello all, the video you're about to see has been a long time in the making. It was back when we went to go uh, see the Embassy RV tour. Boy, what month was that? It was so long ago now. And things just happened. We stayed at the Oliver Inn, uh, which was a wonderful place to stay. And I interviewed the owner and things happened. I just couldn't get that video going. So here it is. Hope you love it. Sorry it took so long to get this up, but uh, it's a great place to stay. So stay there, especially when you're ordering your RV. Be seeing you. Hello, lifers. Here we are at the Oliver Inn, talking to Tom Erlinson of the Oliver Inn. Bed and breakfast. Yes. Bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. So tell us all about the Oliver Inn. How did you first get here? Uh, how do we get a um, moment of insanity? <laughs> uh, actually, Alice and I had talked about uh, uh, doing a bed and breakfast for about uh, oh, 20 years or so. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I was uh, working for a furniture manufacturer in uh, uh, Pennsylvania, and Alice has been running a catering business for 20 years, and uh, we had life change and we had to decide what we wanted to do when we grew up and so uh, a friend of ours uh, said hey you've always talked about doing this bed and breakfast why don't you do it and we kind of looked at each other and, yeah why don't we a year later we own this inn so this uh this home was built by james oliver who was the founder of the oliver farm equipment company and he built this as a wedding present for his daughter uh, so the house was built in 1886 Originally, it had five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. It went through a couple of room additions in the 1920s. Uh, they built the carriage house out back, and now we've got uh, 10 guest rooms, um, which are 11 separate sleeping quarters, plus an additional uh, two-bedroom suite for us. So we've got uh, uh, 13 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and in an 11,000 square foot Victorian building. Uh, things have been good. good. Uh, we've been here since 2005. Uh, we enjoy what we do, and that's why we're still here. We have friends all over the world. Right. People we would have never come in contact with if we had not uh, bought the inn. And uh, furthest away is in uh, Melbourne, Australia. That would be our furthest guest. He'll be here next month. Oh, wow. Uh, he comes uh, about once a year. Um, interesting guy. He, he loves to visit with us. So. And uh, closest away would be across the street. And so people come here just from just, in town? Yeah. A lot, of stay a lot of staycations from here in South Bend, Indiana. And uh, uh, we have people from all over the world. We had um, a guest from Tokyo who uh, lived about two blocks from Alice's sister, who lives in Tokyo. Uh, let's see, what else? Things to do in South Bend, Indiana. Well, we do have the number two tourist attraction in the state of Indiana, and that's the University of Notre Dame. Right. And, uh, uh, and, it's, and it is literally, it is more than football, but uh, people visit the university every day as you did today. Right, yeah. we did that today, it was great. Um, we have the Studebaker National Museum is, uh, is a block and a half away from the inn as well as the uh, 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 Indiana Center for History. Uh, we have two art museums, a number of art galleries. Uh, we have great uh, city, county, and state parks in the area. We're 45 minutes from the beaches of Lake Michigan and we're 94 minutes from Chicago. And um, it's a, this is a great stopping off point if you're heading towards Chicago or if you've just gone through Chicago traffic and <laughs> yeah, and need some mental health time. Yeah, Chicago traffic reminded me of Houston traffic. So yeah, it's, it's, it's just as busy. So. And we are 45 minutes from the RV capital of the world. Yay. Elkhart, Indiana. Elkhart, Indiana, <laughs> which is where we're going. All right, well, thank you so much for this short interview, but it was really great. Anything else you need to say? Uh, um, can I do a plug? You can do a plug. Let's do a plug. Let's do a plug. Okay, <laughs> our our website is oliverin.com. We're 
here in beautiful downtown South Bend. We're within walking distance of restaurants, theater, museums, two and a half miles from the University of Notre Dame. Our website is oliverin.com. Check out our rooms. Come and visit.